friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is gonna be my August favorites. I am so happy to be filming this just because that means we're going to September, which means we're going to fall, which means we're going to my birthday. <laughs> my birthday is September 28th. I will actually be turning 22 this year and I feel, honestly, I feel like I'm getting so old and I know you guys are like, what? <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like when I tell people that I'm 21 now, they're just like, oh my god, you infant. But now I feel like when I tell people that I'm going to be 22, they're like, oh, okay, you're just, you're grown just like us. And I'm like, no, I'm going to be young. <laughs> Anyways, so this is going to be my August favorites. I don't have a lot of stuff to talk about this month. I've kind of been a little bit MIA, not going to lie to you guys, but... There was a lot of things going on in my life in the month of August, so I didn't wear that much makeup, which is why I don't have that many products to talk about, but I do have some good things to show you guys. Also, I just want to let you guys know I have filmed this video twice now. This is the third time that I'm filming this video because I've just been having some issues. I probably will insert some clips from my first two attempts at filming this. The first time my eye, I believe it was this eye, was super watery and just messed up all of my makeup. It was just out of control. And then the second time, I just didn't like the footage. I, I, I feel like I wasn't myself in the footage. Hopefully, third time's the charm. Also, let's just address the electric blue going on in my eyes right now. I am wearing a super neutral eye look. I know, guys. <laughs> No, I'm totally just kidding. I went crazy on my eyes today. I did a blue and purple cut crease and I just feel like I have been doing a lot of neutral looks and I usually don't do that. So it was really weird for me to be doing so many neutral looks, but I'm out of that. I am doing colorful looks again. Even though it's about to be fall and nobody wants to do colorful looks again, I'm going to be doing them. <laughs> Anyways, I think that's all I have to say. So let's just jump into my favorites. I actually have a couple of lifestyle favorites to talk about but I'm gonna throw those in at the end because like I say in every single video I know that you guys are here for beauty favorites you're not here to hear about my favorite cereal of the month you're here to know which mascara I like so let's just jump into the favorites so to start off I'm gonna talk about a primer that I have been using the entire month I am so obsessed with this primer literally every single time that I put makeup on literally I have to put this primer on I have not skipped it I don't think once since I got it and this is a Nivea Men post post shave balm in the sensitive version I was about to say post balm shave like what obviously you guys know Nikki Tutorials totally recommended this to everybody and I mean she was doing me right when she did that this is such an incredible primer I love it so much I put the smallest amount on my hand literally you need just the smallest amount and you just rub it between your fingers and put it all over your face and you can kind of feel it if you put the right amount you can kind of feel it start getting tacky kind of immediately I think it really does make my foundation last a whole lot longer and I do have pretty oily skin especially in my t-zone and I just feel like it doesn't break up my foundation or let my foundation break up at all one thing that I do not like about it is the smell <laughs> it smells like it smells like man it's not like it stinks it just smells like man and I mean don't get me wrong I love the way that man smells like when Elver comes home and he's like wearing his cologne I'm just like yeah but I don't want to be smelling man when I'm putting my primer on if that makes any sense and then like I feel like it stays on my hands so I'm just smelling man all day and I'm just like no that's the only bad thing I have to say about this but other than that I love it so much so muchas thank you to you Nikki Tutorials for telling me about this because it's well, not telling me, telling everybody. I'm, I'm making it sound like the tutorials just text me and it's like, yo, pick up this primer. Like, no, I wish, but no. <laughs> but muchas thank you for talking about it because I am obsessed, obsessed. The next thing I want to talk about is my favorite foundation of the month. I am so, so utterly obsessed with it. I, I just can't get enough of it. I actually posted a first impression talking about this foundation, so I'll link that video down below. But this is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin skin transforming foundation I have mine in the color 90 warm honey and it actually matches me so well I think this is the best match of any foundation that I've ever had is this one it is so 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 lightweight on the skin like I cannot feel it at all and that is one of the biggest deals for me in a foundation if I can feel it when I touch my face I already don't like it so I love that I can't feel it and I love the finish it gives me it's a matte finish but it literally just looks like my skin and I love it so much it lasts 
so so well all day this is just the most incredible foundation I love it so much I don't know how anybody can have something bad to say about it because I know there's a lot of like mixed reviews out there but this is so good I don't know how you guys like are not on this like get on this get on this so if you guys can't tell by this crazy electric eyeshadow look I have going on I am so in love with doing stuff to my eyes like I really like to be creative with my eyes so I feel like August was a month where I really got to do that in the few times that I did wear makeup I do have a lot of eye products pretty much the rest of my makeup is eye products so one of the things I want to talk about is this Kat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper and I know you guys have heard me talk about this all month long I think I did pick it up in July maybe the middle of July and I have pretty much been non-stop with this liner since then this is the liner that I'm wearing today to create my wing liner and I love this it is so small and precise and it just makes it so easy to create a wing liner so if you guys are really having trouble with wing liner I highly suggest you pick this up because I feel like this will just make it so much easier for you however if you're somebody who likes to wear metallic eyeshadows or any type of shimmery eyeshadows any type of eyeshadow that's not matte pretty much I don't think this is gonna be for you I feel like when you have some shimmer on your eyelid the shimmer literally just stops all the pigmentation from coming out of this if that makes any sense like you'll be putting it on your eye and nothing will be coming out because the shimmer is just like no girl mm -mm. then I have I think three three palettes that I want to talk about so the first one is this buxom eyeshadow palette this is a palette that's sold at Sephora and you pick your own six eyeshadows so these are the eyeshadows that I picked out in the inside this is invite only it's a beautiful pink tone transition shade this one is filthy rich it kind of just looks like makeup geeks cocoa bear this is LBD and this is just a matte black all of these three eyeshadows are matte this one is called No Faux, which just looks like MAC Blue Brown Pigment, but in an eyeshadow. And this one's called Lux Life. It's just like a soft periwinkle shade, and I would say that it's kind of like a satin finish. And then this one is called Gold Status. Gold Status. And it's just kind of like a metallic gold shade. I think this palette is just me right here. This is just me. Like, these are the eyeshadows that I would pick for myself. Well, I mean, this, these are the eyeshadows I did pick myself I love these eyeshadows so much they are super pigmented super creamy super blendable I just I love them so much I heard somebody say that they're very similar to the makeup forever artist eyeshadows and the makeup forever artist eyeshadows if you guys don't know is the best eyeshadow formula like on the planet I mean from what I've tried so far and honestly to hear these being compared to those and these are a fraction of the price they're $40 for six eyeshadows whereas makeup forever is 44 for I think three. I mean I was very intrigued These really are comparable to the artist eyeshadows, which is crazy to me I just really love these eyeshadows and I highly recommend you guys try them out I was thinking about making a second palette, but I was just like no Katie just control yourself for a second just for one second Please the second palette that I want to talk about really quickly is a very very special Stunning palette. You guys are kind of going to hate me for this. But this is the Morphe Brushes 35O palette. I know everybody is pretty much mentioning this in their favorites this month. But that is because these eyeshadows are incredible. If you love warm eyeshadows, I know the second you saw this, you were just like, what? They are so, so pigmented. So, like, crazy pigmented and blendable. And the price is so right on this. I think this is like $28 and I think you get 35 eyeshadows in here. 35, 5 times 7, yeah 35, you get 35. And I just think that is such a good deal. When you have Buxom selling eyeshadows that are $40 for 6, you have, hello, $28 for 35. That's like incredible. For the fall, honestly, I don't see any palette being more perfect than this. I highly suggest you guys pick this up when they're back in stock. I know that you guys are like, well, I would pick it up if it was in stock, but I know that Morphe just posted on their Instagram, I think maybe two days ago, that it's coming back in stock super soon, so just keep your eyes peeled for that. So the last palette that I have to talk to you guys about, I am kind of cheating a little bit because I definitely got this maybe the last week of the month and I've been playing with it ever since. I am posting a tutorial if I didn't post it already on a look that I did with this palette, but this is the Too Faced Stardust by Vegas Nay palette. Oh my god. This palette has some very unique shades in it. Just uh, like Pink Pearl here, this is kind of like a iridescent lavender shade, and I feel like it's so different from anything that I've seen before. 
It has this color Jackpot, which is probably my favorite eyeshadow in the entire palette. It is so beautiful. It's just like this gore oh my gosh it's just this gorgeous bronze shade with some gold glitter in it and I just feel like this is so flattering on everybody this for like on the lid with like a smoky eye would just be everything super duper pigmented super creamy super blendable and I love the theme of it how everything is like girls night and jackpot and sin city like Vegas related because of Vegas night you know you know? You saw, you got that? The value for this, you get this, a small shadow insurance, a small Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, which you know was really the selling point for me. <laughs> and I think you get a small pigment as well, and it's only $45. Like, that's an incredible price. And I believe it is exclusive to Ulta and to Too Faced.com. So, really quickly, I just have two single eyeshadows that I feel like I have to shout out. Like, if I don't, I am doing something wrong. These are the Bobbi Brown Single Eyeshadows in Camel and Toast. And I know you guys are like, seriously, everybody is talking about these eyeshadows. Maybe not recently, but at least once, I'm sure, one of your favorite YouTube gurus has talked about them. I use these in my look for my winged liner and lashes video and I was just so in love with that look surprisingly because it was so neutral but I feel like it was because of these eyeshadows that I really really liked it this is toast and it's kind of just a very pink tone transition shade kind of like invite only in the buxom palette but it's so so soft and this is it right here it's so soft and creamy and blendable and it's just amazing I thought this wouldn't show up well on my eyes because I'm a little bit darker but it actually still shows up just as beautifully as it does on lighter skin tones and then camel I'm sorry camel is like the new love of my life this is like max uninterrupted so it's kind of like a dookie brown color but it's just like uninterrupted to another level I feel like this one is more pigmented than uninterrupted and it is more pricey than Uninterrupted. And I do believe that Uninterrupted is being discontinued. So if you are like in love with that color, this is definitely the way to go. But I just love this so much. It is so ridiculous. I am not kidding you when I say it is ridiculously pigmented. I feel like when I put Uninterrupted in my crease as my transition shade and then put other colors in there, you don't end up seeing it in the final look. But when I did this in the crease and put other colors on top, it still ended up showing in the look and it was beautiful you wouldn't think that this color is cute in the crease but i'm telling you it's really cute lastly for eyes i have three pairs of lashes to talk about i know you guys are like seriously i am so in love with lashes and i really want to try lily lashes but i'm like i have so many lashes it's just like my constant struggle like which lashes do i want to try now the first pair that i have to show you are by blinging beauté and these are the samantha lashes it was really hard for me to not put these on today let me just tell you but i had to show you them because they're incredible. I think I've used... Let me zoom you in, girl. Let me zoom you in. I think I've used this particular pair probably like six times at this point. And look at how perfect they look. They literally look brand new. And I'm not kidding. It's been like six times. I love them. This is probably my favorite lash, like, of life. I just... I cannot get over how beautiful they look on the eye. They kind of flare out at the end. These are not them. But they kind of flare out at the end and it just gives you kind of like a cat eye appearance. But they're so full and like fluffy and they are just incredible. They are super, super, super pricey. They're I think $35 which is a lot to pay for one pair of lashes when you can buy Red Cherry for like $2. But honestly if you try a pair of mink lashes you will know the difference between a mink lash and just like a red cherry lash. Next two lashes that I have to talk about are both by Vegas Nay and who's not talking about these lashes honestly. These are the Grand Glamour and these are the Shining Star. You can barely see them because they're just like flopping around in the packaging. But I have used this I think in probably three tutorials already I've used these and I have these on in two videos but they're not tutorials so I just love these so much they are such let me just show you they are such incredible quality and I just I can't get over it I feel like these are for people like myself who need some drama all day or day I feel like these are for people who kind of just want some middle grounds because they're still very full and they're long but they're not long to the point where you're like touching your eyebrows with your lashes if that makes any sense and then her other pair which you know I don't have because <laughs> those are like the natural pair the other pair are kind of like demi wispies so I feel like she really catered to everybody when she put this together and I think she did an amazing job and I'm so 
proud of her. Because. I also have two brushes by Morphe that I want to talk about. The first one is the E23. You guys saw that I kind of got a lot of Morphe brushes in and I was using a lot of them in my 35.0 tutorial and I love this brush. This is probably my favorite brush in the planet. Honestly. This to me is kind of like a Sigma E40 or a MAC 224 but like 7 trillion times better. <laughs> it's a little bit smaller. I feel like. I feel like it's a little bit smaller and it's a lot of it softer personally because I feel like the 224 sometimes I don't have a Sigma E40 but I do have a MAC 224 and I feel like the 224 can kind of scratch at my eyes sometimes and it's not just the one brush because I purchased a new one and it was still scratching at my eyes so this one is just so soft and like supple and just like I just Oh my god, I love it so much. And because it is a little bit smaller, I feel like I don't have that much space in my crease. You know what I mean? So I feel like I can't be putting this humongous 224 all in my crease. And I feel like since this is a little bit smaller, it kind of is the perfect size for my eye shape personally. The next brush that I want to talk about is the E3. And you guys know that I've been kind of on a hunt for a new blush brush. And I am no longer on a hunt because I love this one. I actually also have another... Where is it? I used this brush today for my for my blush but I think I'm only gonna use this for like cream products this is the morphe g4 I really like this one as well because I feel like I didn't even talk about this one yet but it's okay we'll get there but I feel like it just if I pat the because I use the color pop blush today I use the color early bird this is what I have on my cheeks today so I felt like if I would have used this, I felt like it kind of would have messed with the consistency a little bit. So I decided to use this one, and plus I wanted to keep this one clean for you guys. So I used this one, and I really like it too. So I like both of these. This is the E3, and this is the G4. I like them both, but they're definitely different. They're both extremely soft. But this one is angled, and it's a little bit more dense, whereas this one is a little bit more rounded. And I mean, they're both so soft. Honestly, I can't even take it. But this one's a little bit more rounded and I kind of feel like you get more of a natural blush application with this one than you would with this one. So that's actually it for all of my beauty favorites. I told you guys I don't have that much. But we're going to move on to my more lifestyle type favorites. And the first thing that I want to talk about are sunglasses. I have been so obsessed with sunglasses lately, guys. If you follow me on Snapchat, you probably see me in a new pair of sunglasses every single day because I am literally consumed by the thought of wearing sunglasses. I just want I just want all the sunglasses in the world. These that I'm wearing right here, these are the key, I think they're called the Tainted Love and these are in the gold color. And I wore these on my mom's wedding day and everyone in my family was there. I mean, it was an outside event, so and it was very relaxed. But so I was wearing these and everybody was like, "What are you wearing on your eyes?" Like all my family members and like my mom's friends, they were kind of just like Katie, I'm sorry, but like, what's going on with your face there? And I'm like, huh, these are my weird tainted love sunglasses. Don't hate. They're cute. I love them so much because I feel like they're so weird. And it's kind of unusual to see a pair of sunglasses like this because they're like squiggly over here and they're just like really big and like bug eyed. And I just, ugh, I love them. I love them so much. And key is spelled like Quay. So if you see Quay and you're like, who's key? It's the same. Key is Quay. But. I have purchased so many sunglasses from Key and I honestly, they're my favorite. I love them so much. And I feel like you get kind of like a designer type of feel, but they're not the designer price. You know what I mean? And they have so many different styles. Literally, you will find something that you love. The next ones I'm going to show you, these are all by Key. I don't know if I said that. These are the Kitty sunglasses and these are in the color coffee. I have them in black as well. But this coffee, there is something about this coffee color that is just everything to me. I have, I think I have the My Girl in coffee as well, but I just love this whole coffee. I just love coffee. Like this coffee is like amazing. It's like a super light washed out gray on the frame and then the actual lens is like a burnt orange. It's just... <laughs> And then my final pair of key sunglasses that I want to show you guys are actually limited edition. These are the key and Shea Mitchell Vespers in black and oh my god! <laughs> I love these. These are this is my favorite pair of sunglasses on the planet, hands down, no doubt. If I had to pick one pair of sunglasses out of all the ones I have, this would be it. I feel like I can take over the planet literally right now. Like I can take over the planet. I literally keep these in my purse, by the way. 
Like, I have to keep these in my purse at all times. At all times. Just in case, like, whatever sunglasses I'm wearing, I don't want to wear them anymore or I don't like them or I forgot to bring some. I always have a fierce pair right here. So, let's talk about some coffee, shall we? <laughs> I have never really been a coffee type of girl. I never... I just I just never got into it especially because most of the time like when it's cold outside like people drink hot coffee and I do not under any circumstances like hot beverages I don't like hot tea I don't like hot coffee I don't like hot anything do not come at me with a hot beverage I don't want it this is iced coffee and I actually bought this from Target my family and I we just stock up every single time we go to Target we clean out the aisle I'm not kidding you we buy like 16 at a time and we're like great we're good so this is the Caramel Macchiato. They have other ones. I think they have like a vanilla, maybe like a vanilla latte or something. We got that one once and that one was good. But this is life. This is so good. And this is such a good alternative. Uh -huh. This is such a good alternative to actually going to Starbucks every single morning and like trying to get your coffee. So what I do is I have to take this with me to go to school so I can actually pay attention in class. Okay, so this is what I use to take it with me and this is a just a regular coffee cup You can buy a coffee cup literally Everywhere well, maybe not a coffee cup, but you know what I mean like a like an iced coffee cup You can buy these literally everywhere. I bought this one for five below and I just Wrote my name on it because I have a label maker and all of the people in my house have one So I had to write everybody's name on it. So we know like which cup is ours. So mine just says Katie This is also a favorite, but it's not because it's a coffee cup that is my favorite it's my favorite because it came with these and these are little like plastic ice cubes literally the most intriguing thing I'm gonna take them out of here this is a little ziploc bag that I keep it in I just says Katie and Elver because me and Elver share these ice cubes but literally they're little plastic ice cubes and they're ice like it's water inside and it does freeze but it doesn't water down your drink like when it starts to melt and that is just Amazing whoever made this and mentioned like you're genius. You're, you're popping. I wish I was you And I also got these really big ones <laughs> Like can you see this difference right now? I got these super big ones just because I really like a cold drink Literally, I can't leave my house without this if I go to school in the morning and I don't have this like I'll probably try to kill people in school all right, so I think that is it for my favorites. I definitely said that I didn't have that many favorites, but this is definitely still going to be a 45 minute long video. <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> please, please, please do not forget to leave your favorites down in the comments section. I love hearing what you guys have been loving for the month, and I love telling you guys, you know, my recommendations. You guys give me your recommendations. I just, I love interacting with you guys, so please leave that in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Really, only Instagram and Snapchat because I really don't do anything on Twitter, honestly. I don't even know how to work it. I've posted probably like three times on there since I've had one. I just, I don't really understand it at all. But definitely Instagram and definitely Snapchat because that way you guys can keep up with me a little bit more. And don't forget to thumbs up this video if you did like it. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs> so I'm ready for church. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. <sighs> On this look, why god? Can I help you? How's it going? It was going fine. But we'll just thank you for. Hello? Mm. Uh, didn't do a lot, my. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> Can I say anything? Uh, uh, Miles? What? Oh, what? What the flower power? Yes, I'm Jeff with all the way to Vida. Best breakup song ever. Ya diablo voy a mandar que a ti a tu amor te voy a demostrar que no eres lo mejor. Dejaste que de ti me enamorara. Stop it right now. A través del tiempo he venido escuchando que hablan del amor. Oh, my God.